It's white, it's got lace-ups down the front. Now, it's beautiful, because all black is chic regardless of the time of year. Party season is over, sequin season is over. I feel like I should throw a funeral, I am so sad. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal, and today we are going to be talking about how to take your holiday sequins into the rest of the year. So the first outfit I have to show you guys is centered around this metallic silver skirt from Eloquy. So this is something I picked up, I believe it was like early December to wear to holiday things. And it's not necessarily a sequin, but it still has a high amount of shine. It's a silver metallic thread on a black base and it's a pencil skirt, a really nice stretchy pencil skirt. So very festive, very Christmas. Um, and so how do I take this into the rest of the year? Well, I'm gonna put this on the floor. So I'm pairing it with um, this black bodysuit from Good American, a black bodysuit, a tank bodysuit, suit is something that everybody should have in their wardrobe because you're going to see that I restyled this a bunch of times in this video, but this is going to be something that you can use over and over again as a great layering piece. So I took that skirt, I put this bodysuit with it, very, very simple. So what I paired with the bodysuit and the skirt was actually a black denim jacket, and this is a very monochromatic look. I went with all black because all black is chic regardless of the time of year, but this is more of a wintry look because that silver really does have kind of a winter vibe to it. So I paired this big jacket is from Good American um, and it's got like zippers down the side it's got very minor distressing on it it's not super distressed but it's a little bit of an oversized jacket so it's a trendier piece um, but it really takes down and tones down the over-the-top shine of the skirt putting a denim jacket with it is going to take down that shine um, and kind of just casual it up a little bit. And I finished off the look by pairing these Chanel um, leather peep toe boots that I have. You don't, obviously you don't have to have Chanel boots, you don't have to have Good American. Just find a good denim jacket that you like, Good fi find a good pair of booties. This look would also look beautiful with a pair of pointed toe black heels, but I wanted to do something a little different. So these are really great, they're just all leather. A little bit loose, I'm trying to hold it in front of my face so you guys can see. A little bit bigger around the um, calf or around the shin and then um, peep toe at the bottom and then the little Chanel logo in the back. I love these Chanel shoes, they're kind of like tonal so you can't really, like, it's not like Chanel, you know, but you know, they're still a really great quality boot. So that is the first look. Again, keeping everything monochromatic, keeping everything tonal will take down the shine and make it look really crisp and clean and put together. The next sequin piece I'm gonna be styling for you guys is this skirt from Eloquy. Now this, I'm looking down at my monitor to make sure I'm in frame, guys. Um, this is so holiday, so Christmas, like it screams Christmas. So this was a fun challenge to kind of dress down and make a little more, you know, not festive and not holiday. So again, this as my base piece, I took again that black bodysuit from Good American, this tank bodysuit, and put that on. And then on top of that, I layered a vest. Now, I know a lot of people see these and they don't really know like, how would I wear a vest? How do I wear a vest? vest are so versatile you guys it kind of like slays me or kills me that people don't wear them more um, this one is from Rachel Roy I got recently from thread up but it's just a really nice simple vest it's just a black vest it's got some grommeting on the side that you can cinch up if you want to a single button and to further define the waist on that and kind of I like to call this my Kelly Kapoor outfit because I feel like, okay, do you guys watch The Office and the episode where Kelly takes <laughs> the business course over the summer and she's like, I'm Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. Like that's how I feel in this outfit. I'm like, I'm Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. Um, and this belt was the perfect way to further cinch in the waist. So we're getting a little bit of waist cinchage, cinchage from the button on the vest, but by putting this wide belt with it, it's really cinching in the waist, really giving me a really strong hourglass shape. Um, and I feel like if you have an office party or you just want to look like bam, like a bamf at work, um, putting this vest on over that sequin skirt and a really nice strong statement belt is really going to take that skirt and there's nothing holiday about the look now, definitely. Um, so it's a, yeah, just a really fun way to kind of bring it in. So get you a vest, a bodysuit, a good belt, and take your sequin skirt to the office. Also, you can petition your boss to change casual Fridays to like glam AF Fridays, and then everyone will wear sequins to work on Friday, and wouldn't that make the world a better place if you went into work every Friday and everyone was wearing sequins? Like, I feel like that's the only kind of office I would wanna live my life in. 
The next skirt I'm gonna style for you is surprisingly versatile. Um, and obviously if any of these skirts are still available, I will link them down below. Um, there's some maybe some stuff left over from Christmas, but I'll, unfortunately because all of this stuff was holiday stuff, the chances of it still being available are kind of low, but try to use this video as inspiration and not necessarily a shopping guide. Um, so this skirt from Eloquy, I picked up in, I think it was November. And I was like, you know, this is like Christmas in Palm Springs. Like you have all these silver, but then you have like succulents and little flowers and, and stuff embroidered into it. Um, and it's super kitschy, but surprisingly, this is a piece that will easily translate into spring. So let's say you're going to Palm Springs, right? And you wanna wear the sequin skirt, but you don't wanna look like too much, right? What you wanna do is pair it with a really nice chambray button down. Now, a chambray button down, I think I have two outfits styled with a chambray button down maybe this is the only one but this is such a great piece to have in your wardrobe because chambray pairs with basically everything that you have so I paired it with the chambray button down it's a darker chambray a lighter one would have worked as well chambray by the way is kind of a very 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 lightweight denim um, and it's got like pearlescent buttons so you just roll up the sleeves button this up tuck this into this and you already have taken this to, to a whole new casual level um, and it really kind of plays off the playfulness of the flowers that are embroidered into the sequin. Furthermore, I paired um, some big sunglasses with it because I just thought it just gave me vacation vibes to have like big honking sunglasses with like a denim shirt and a fun skirt. And then to top it all off, I paired a very simple pair of Target nude heels. These are by A New Day. These are great, they're about a three and a half inch. I feel like I would wear this when, like here in LA, I would wear this any, I mean, I would wear this anyway, but it's such a fun spring outfit um, that really takes this kind of cool, like holiday sequin and brings it into the rest of the year. So let's say you're extra like me and you saw a sequin maxi skirt online and you were like, yes, 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 yes. I'll figure out what to do with it later. But yes, so this one I actually got two years ago from Society Plus and I don't know if they still make it or have it. Um, I'll hopefully I'll find it and be able to link it up. But it is a sequined rose gold maxi. Like it's basically like the bottom half of a gown. It's beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Look how reflect, I'm looking in the monitor because I just love staring at this. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so great. So how do you take a sequin maxi and make it spring? Okay. I have this little cropped up here. This is actually um, an, a prototype for some stuff we're working on for Astra for spring. Um, so this will be available eventually, but we I paired it with this black and white striped crop top because it adds an edge of casual preppiness to a very, very, very over the top skirt. So if you have like a wedding to go to, a graduation to go to, anything kind of fun and festive and you wanna like up your game and you wanna wear some sparkle and shine, just find a really pretty striped like crop top, t-shirt, tank top, whatever, tuck it in or like I said with a crop, you just kind of sits there perfectly. And this is just a winning combination for me. Like I think this is an absolute just banger outfit. Um, I would absolutely wear this like on a cruise for one of like the fancier dinners. This would be perfect. Before I move on, I do want to take a second because I know I styled a bunch of skirts and I know a lot of you guys probably bought dresses for the holiday season. If you have sequin dresses, don't forget that unless it's like a red velvet or a green velvet or a blue velvet or something, sequin dresses can be worn to any event throughout the year. Weddings, date night, parties, quinceaneras, graduations, like wherever you want. So don't be afraid to like re-wear your sequin dresses. You spent good money on them and they are not just for Christmas. So be that girl, be that girl who walked in looking like a million dollars. Like there's not an occasion that sequins aren't appropriate for in my opinion. Just saying. Um, but definitely don't be afraid to re-wear your sequin dresses. Okay, so let's say you didn't buy a skirt, but you bought like a really great blazer, maybe a kimono, something fun like that. I feel like all the colors are like reflecting up on my face. I have this, I got this in September, I think it was. I have this paillette kimono from ASOS. I mean, this is just like amazing, amazing, amazing. It has tons of different colors in it. Really great for the holidays. Really, really pretty, but any sequin kimono or any paillette kimono will work. Um, so let's say you have this piece and you want to figure out how to take that into spring and summer. Well, I got you covered. 
Take your beautiful kimono, go grab that basic bodysuit that you have. This should be a good staple that everybody has in their wardrobe. Grab this and then throw on your favorite pair of, wait, Crystal, zip them up so you're not being sassy on YouTube. Grab your favorite pair of cutoffs. So these are a new pair of cutoffs to me. Um, for, from Good American, but I have great pairs from Charlotte Russe that I really like. Just find your favorite pair of cutoffs. So tuck your bodysuit in, or put your bodysuit on, put your shorts on, throw your kimono over your shoulder, grab your flip flops, and you are good to go for basically any like taco festival, brunch, avocado shopping, beach day. You know, this would be a really great outfit to pair with like your favorite swimsuit. Um, but cutoffs are actually so much more versatile than people realize. And they're a great way to dress down something really fussy like a sequin kimono or a sequin blazer. I didn't, Eloquy put out a beautiful sequin blazer with pearls this season and I did not, it sold out like that. I didn't get a chance to pick it up. But it would have been amazing with a pair of denim cutoffs. So invest in a couple of pairs of denim cutoffs for the spring and then take all your sequin jackets and pull them forward with basic pieces like body, black body suits, white body suits, tank tops. If you don't want your, you know, if you're not comfortable with the bodysuit, just get a really nice tank top. It's going to give you the same look, um, but just get a really cool pair of shorts that you like, and that is a phenomenal way to bring that forward. Also, if you're going to music festivals, this would be a bomb look. Do some braids in your hair, and you'll be set. Okay, guys, so the last look is actually my favorite, and it's probably going to piss you guys off because this sequin piece is no longer available. I've had this for a while. It's actually falling apart. Um, and you guys have been asking me, every time I wear it, my, my messages blow up, the comments go crazy about where did you get this, this is gone, it was a one time limited edition. I will say though that I'm working my hardest to find similar fabric to bring back a plus size version. Um, but this is a sequin kimono, but it's a silver sequin kimono on a white, it's got beads, it's got, it reflects so beautifully, it almost looks like gemstones in a way. It's stunning. So let's say you have a really beautiful silver kimono or silver cardigan that you bought for Christmas. That's a nice shine to it. My favorite way to use this is to pair it and treat it like a swim cover up. So that being a white base with silver, I went with this freaking gorgeous Ashley Graham swimsuit from last year. So this, if this is still available, I'm gonna link it down below because it is too freaking die for. It's a little small, but I'm, I'm working on it. Just leave me alone, I'm working on it. Um, it's so beautiful. It's white, it's got lace-ups down the front. It's a monokini, so it's open in the back, but it's got these cool like lacy bits here. Um, it's just, it's just gorgeous, and I feel like the two together just like, are, is just so, so stunning. Like, so, so stunning. You can even wear that other, let me grab the other one. You can even wear this kimono with a, like a black bikini or a black one piece if you want to. So your sequin kimonos can really double up as over the top glam swim cover up, especially for the summer. So go ahead and grab your favorite swimsuit, pair your sequin pieces with it, and then get you a resort look that like will literally let, like everyone will drool, be drooling as you walk by. Like there will be no coming back from, from this outfit. Like absolutely none. You have won 2018 in this outfit, guaranteed, I promise. Okay guys, so that is it for this how to wear sequins after Christmas video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you got some inspiration and you saw something that you like. Let me know what your favorite combo was down in the comments down below. I would love to know. If you have any pieces that you're struggling to style, leave them down below in a comment so I can check them out. I always have a list of like these kind of videos to do and now being 2018, we're really gonna start focusing on styling and we're still gonna do hauls, but we're gonna focus on styling and how to actually style the pieces that you're buying, whether it's from Boohoo or Swimsuits For All or designer, wherever you are. So, so thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making me a part of your day. It means so, so much to me. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Bye. It took everything in me to not wear sequins while filming the video about sequins, but I'm trying to like get the last of my sweaters out. I have the air conditioning down because it's 80 degrees out. I can't with this California winter. Anyway, if you want to see more styling videos, you can go ahead and click this video up here. That's a styling video. And if you love hauls, I got you covered. There's like over 50 of them now. Here is my most recent haul. You can check this out and we can hang out all day and talk fashion and lifestyle and fun stuff. And yeah, let's do that.